So it's no secret that I suck at painting. So today we're gonna go over the three cheats that I use to make painting easy. So once you get past the basic stuff like thinning paints, putting on thin layers, the next thing I struggled with was complex designs. I had people online tell me to use a pencil and to color things in, and I really can't paint really well at all. For complex designs, I was thinking of ways to make it easier and make it accessible to everyone. And these are the three tricks and cheats that I use to help simplify that process. So the first cheat that we have is water slides. So water slides are basically stickers that you make at home with special inkjet or laser paper. And what you do is you get your computer and you print your designs on those sheets of paper. And when that's done, you spray clear coat over them. The way you apply these is that you basically cut out the print that you want and then you soak them in water for about 30 seconds and then you just stick them on. It takes about a day to dry fully and you have an easy cheat to look like you painted really detailed items but you didn't. And in this example here for the wolf pack, these wolf symbols are really hard to hand paint. So what the artist that created this figure did was they printed the sticker out and then they painted around it to hide the lines. Because if you look carefully on water slides, one of the downsides is that you can actually see the little line where the water slide ended. So when you select your water slide paper, there's two types of colors that they have. One is transparent and the other one is a white backing. So one of the lacking areas of water slide paper is that uh, normal desk jet printers cannot print white. So if you ever thought about that, you would think, oh yeah, I want something white. Well, basically when something is white from a desk jet or a laser, nothing prints because your paper is probably white. To get around that, there are a few hacks or a few ways to do that. One of the ways is to buy a printer that prints on white and that's pretty expensive. The other one that I haven't tried that I heard of might work is if you have a printer that has like three different color tones, you remove like yellow and replace the yellow ink with like white ink and then make your prints yellow and it will print out white. And that brings us to cheat number two. So for cheat number two, what I've been using to create paint templates, and also you can use this to create stickers as well, is to use a Cricut machine and load in vinyl and have it cut vinyl. And there's a print and then cut option, or what I do for this is I just do the cut option and I load vinyl in, and then I, I produce basically either print templates or print stickers. And so you can see in the videos that I've uploaded before, I use like a negative sticker and then I paint into it, or you can also spray into it, which are both acceptable methods to do that. And that will get you really awesome effects and then just weather it up afterwards and it'll look perfect. So the third cheat that you've probably seen in my videos is I can't draw straight lines and I'm horrible about painting straight lines. So what I do is I use vinyl tape and then I, I tape painter's tape on top of that so that uh, I don't paint around anywhere else. When I'm doing detailed helmet lines, you'll see that I use vinyl tape as guides. And so what I do is I just lay those down and I paint onto it and it should be fine. And so those are the three main tips that can help you get started making awesome figures. Rawr, <laughs>